Hello again. In this playlist, I'm going to focus on performing a comparison of weight specific metabolic rate with the adenine percentage in entrance of various species. So I'm going to try to see whether there is a correlation between weight specific metabolic rate and the percentage of adenines in the entrance of these kind of species. Well, the species that I'm going to deal with are all from a specific family or they belong to mammals, basically. <coughs> so I'll try to s specify my search to mouse, rats, guinea pigs, pigs, cow, human and gorilla. So in order to get entrants of specific genes from these species, we need to navigate to a certain website. So you can search for ensemble, you can say genome browser or browser. Then you'll be navigated to ensemble.org. In this website, you can choose a species. For example, you can choose human. And here you write down the name of a specific gene, for example, actin or alpha actin. So you write down alpha actin and then it will try to search for alpha actin coding gene in humans. So it says for a human protein family and here you can click on um, sequence. So let's just point this out. You click here and then there are other information like the summary information and lots of other pieces of information which you might be interested in but we would click on sequence here it gives you information about the DNA sequence the exons here are written in red characters with a background color of orange so these are exons in that particular gene the rest is exon entrance so in order to get the entrance you click on download sequences then here you specify your search by doing the following so you click here you don't need this part and you want to get the entrance so you select this part so deselect genomic sequence you just select entrance then click on download and you would get the download in order to get different types of file formats you can select faster or select rtf rtf for rich text format so we need the faster file so simply select entrance and click download so I've downloaded all of the sequences that I need for this playlist and I got all of my sequences here and you can follow up the tutorials and get the sequences just like what I did now let's go to the our script and write some script in order to do the adenine counting first to navigate to the files we need to parse DNA sequences from the FASTA files that we have so we need to import a seek IO from bio so you write down from bio import seek IO this is a module inside bio package then we need to have a um, variable we name it DNA seeks we use a list comprehension like we always do <coughs> Repro stands for representative or representation of the sequence we write seek underscore record dot seek for seek underscore record in seek 
i a dot parse then the name of your file so I'm going to copy and paste the name of one of the files and name it as FASTA then supply the information as FASTA so that's it this will return you the DNA sequences stored in this FASTA file we can print this out to see what we have to do so just write down print open close parentheses and the name of the variable and there you go well we need to have a I mean we need to save the file DNA parse dot py well you can name it anything that you'd like to well these are the sequences inside the file well this is just to double check the sequence to count ad count adenine we can have a variable that can count adenine in every entron so you can write down i dot count adenine or i in dna underscore seeks you may wonder why do i do this and i'm going to answer that in a moment let me just print this out adding in underscore count to see how many counts do i have one two three four five six and seven so what does that mean this means that i have seven entrons so let me just draw something real quick the gene stores like this and it has long sequence there is an exon here filled another exon filled another one so depending on the gene that you're dealing with you have you can have multiple exons well these are also considered as exons but they normally draw it as empty exons because they are non-coding exons so this is 5 prime UTR and this is 3 prime UTR and translated region so one two three four five one more to go six and seven so we have six coding exons and seven entrants with two non-coding exons that's why we end up having seven entrons in that particular gene well we need one count per file we have one file and I need to have returned all of the adenine counts in that file there is a simple procedure which is to sum all of them up what I can do here is to write down sum here open close parentheses around it now let's print this out 83 so this is the adenine count in that file it summed it up right I don't need this in the next part of this playlist we would need to have dictionaries in order to call pandas data frames and put the dictionaries into the data frames and then manipulate the data frames so to do so we can start making a dictionary we call we assign the dictionary to a variable called adenine dictionary and to make a dictionary you just open close curly brackets 
this one is called adenine count this is the name of the column that I want to have adenine CNT so it contains the 83 as a value if you have a scalar number like this one there is no vector we need to have indexing so you can say indexing equals zero if you don't do that data frames wouldn't accept it as a data frame data because you only have one dimension and that's not acceptable in data frames let's import pandas as pd and define a data frame pd dot data frame so i have the dictionary to be assigned to the data frame and my index face on indexing because i want to have a indexing starting from zero and i can print this out as a data frame yes all right so the adenine count has a column and it contains 83 as the adenine count of that species so i can have the ids in a separate column and the counting of adenine in this column which i'm going to specify that in the next tutorial later on i'm going to deal with all of the other species and then count adenine in all of them and retrieve information online from specific metabolic rate for all of those species and after that i try to find a correlation between adenine count in introns of that specific gene and the specific metabolic rate of those species so i hope that this would be a helpful tutorial for, for you and the playlist is going to be helpful for you to learn certain new things thank you for keeping up with me